Anime. We're back. Code Geass R2. Episodes 3 and 4 today. Mm -hmm. Episode 3 starts off called Imprisoned in Campus. So where we last left off, the Black Knights had been... Uh, they retreated to the Chinese Embassy. Right? Well, they weren't treated to it. Uh, the, 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 they Lush. retreated, yeah. and then Lelouch did some bullshit. Yeah, Lelouch was like, oh, you're going to let us stay here, right? And the guy's like, yes, of course, yes. because he got fucking geossed. Yeah, so they're all there. Uh, Lelouch is making an announcement, and Rolo shows up in his uh, nightmare frame, the Vincent, and he's about to geoss some people to get in mm -hmm. until he gets a mysterious phone call. From Lelouch. Yeah. And he's like, how? What? He's like, huh? what? Mm -hmm. I thought you were in the building. He's like, no, nah, bro. I went home. I'm at school. And then the gym teacher takes the phone. Yeah. He's like, like, where are you? They're doing makeup classes. And he's like, oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I'll come back. Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, and this episode is largely about Lelouch trying to piece together more of his past. Yes. Past year. What uh, has happened. Yeah. And what he's trying to figure out, yeah. uh, who Rolo is, and what the fuck Rolo was doing here. And he goes out on a date with Shirley to go buy some presents. Mm -hmm. and But he uses this as a whole cover-up scheme so that he can look for the base of operations of the people that are spying on him, basically. Mm -hmm. And he learns through the whole episode about their plan to that they're, they're tagging him so that they can find C2. Yep. And at the end of the episode, Lelouch pulls a heist of proportions to get Rolo. In, some bullshit. In, he does some bullshit. He does. To get Rolo into... Uh, basically, to, to, to catch Rolo, like, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's got a gun to his head. He says, Rolo, peace out, motherfucker. He's like, you gonna die, Yeah, bitch. you gonna die. And then Rolo activates his gias. And he teleports behind the Lush with, with the, the gun. gun, and you're like, oh, yeah. And that's where the episode, yeah, that's where the episode ends. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that first episode was pretty light. Yeah, on stuff for considering how how crazy the ending of the episode before it was. Yeah, I think we have to remember that. Yeah, we are again at season startup, so mm -hmm. things are a bit. We're at turn three. Yeah, we're, we're only at turn three. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty low-key episode yep. with some high consequences at the end. <sighs> How'd he do it? How'd, How'd he do it? How did he do it? What is his guess? What is his guess? Well, thankfully, we watched episode four. Mm -hmm. And that episode was called Counterattack at the Gallows. At this point, we pick up right with the gun to the back of Lelouch's head. And Lelouch being the fucking genius that he is. It's like, bitch. It's like, we stopped time. What? <laughs> he's like, I got it. You stop time. <clears throat> and then Rolo's like, it doesn't matter. He's like, and then you hear Lelouch counting. And then you see Lelouch look at a screen. And then Lelouch hits the remote. He's like, you didn't actually stop time. You just stopped my, my perception of time. time. But the world keeps moving. moving. Yeah. Okay, here, here's the thing. Okay. This is straight up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because we get some <laughs> evil monologue shit from Rolo, where yeah. he's just like, he's like, how many people have you killed? And he's like, I don't know. Do, do people remember how many meals they've eaten? Or how many times they've brushed their or teeth? Or how many times they've brushed their teeth? And it's like, bitch, that's straight from JoJo. <laughs> that is how many breads have you eaten? That's just Dio. That is Toki wo Tomare. And yeah. then fucking Ora Ora all over your fucking neck. Yeah, so basically, they go into some flashbacks about Rolo and how he was born and raised to be the perfect assassin because of his gias. Yes. And he never had a birthday. He was grown cold, callous. He's a robot. And I think it's important to say in the last episode, uh, Lelouch knows, now knows for sure that Rolo is a fake brother yeah. that is supposed to take the... Uh, place of Nunnally. Nunnally. And he, when he does his research, he finds out that like they shared like a very wholesome and lovingly, loving yeah. life. So they had a great brother. And he knows now that Rolo is attached because Lelouch tried to take the gift he gave Rolo back from him and he freaked the fuck out in episode three. Yes. Right? He did. He did. So he's, now he's using that knowledge to his advantage here. Yeah. And so instead of getting shot, 
Lelouch convinces Rolo. Without his Gias. Exactly. He doesn't use the Gias. And he says, um, I won't lie to you. You are my brother. You can use me as bait, and I will lead you to C2. Yeah, because I know that's your mission. That's yeah, he's what like, you she's need. like, I know, and I, I will never lie to you because you're, you're my, my brother. brother. And Rolo, confused as fuck. Because he's all like, fuck, I'm invested emotionally yeah. into this person. And he Because fo- he treats me as family. And he's going to follow him now. What the fuck? Yeah, and he's like, okay. At this point, um, outside of the Chinese embassy, Gilford shows up with all the black knights yeah. that he's captured and he says all right zero let's duel one on one if you don't i'm going to kill everyone yeah that's more or less what pretty happens. pretty much it's like so he's not he's not on chinese territory yeah. but he's right beside chinese territory yeah. and he took all of the black knights like ogi yeah. uh, and all the japanese uh coalition and stuff yeah. like that and they're just like we're just going to fucking murder them yeah it's like so let's and you can watch from the embassy if you want yeah it's like, so come out and fight me one on one. If you win, I'll let them go. <clears throat> if I win, you're dead. Yeah. Uh, Zero shows up at the nick of time. Yeah. And he says, "Okay, let's fight, but let's set some ground rules. Mm-hmm. Uno, mano a mano, just me and you. One weapon. Well, damn, that's different. Uh, what? Are we haunted? Whoa. Is it spooky time? I've never... We are recording this on Devil's Night. Is it spooky time? Are we going to get murdered? Lock the door. Put a chair up against that door. Whoa. Whoa! It's currently sending a fax. Why would it send a fax back? Does anyone have fax access wirelessly? No. That's messed up. It's sending a fact. It's current. It completed sending a fact. Okay, great. Welcome to 1990s, <laughs> where we send faxes still. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. A fax just goes to a printer, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh huh. Uh, the duel. Yes. So Guilford picks a spear. Lelouch picks a riot shield. Yeah. He's just like, I'm not going to win off and I'm just going to go pure defense. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, all right. In the background of the Chinese embassy, we see that, uh, I guess, some sort of politics happened. Mm-hmm. Samurai man kills the Chinese leader. Yeah. So that they can perform a coup and now he's the leader or something. Yeah, because he's all like, I know something's up with this leader. Yeah. And also he's not doing the things I want. Yeah. And I'm so fucking strong. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He's so like, I'm going to lead murder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the battle is about to begin mm-hmm. and the is like, all right, go time. He watches magic mm-hmm. and it turns out he fucking guillossed everyone again. Yeah. Somehow. somehow. He guillossed someone in the terminals to yeah. basically do the same thing he did before, which is blow up one of them. Yeah. At the black rebellion. Yeah. And so the whole ground lifts and landslides them all into the Chinese embassy territory. Mm-hmm. At this point, Lelouch just skateboards across Guilford's mech and then runs towards the embassy. Uh, because everyone's on the Chinese territory, they claim that that is an act of, like, that is a terrorist attack. So now everyone can just fight and do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> The important part happens when Rolo shows up in his mech and he's chasing down the Lush and he's like, you lied to me, bitch. You lied. I'm going to have to kill you now. I'm going to kill you. Mm-hmm. And what we didn't, and what something that happened at the beginning of the episode as well is Lelouch guillossed another guy with like a sniper rifle bazooka. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. he did. And this sniper rifle bazooka is a good, is trained to kill Rolo's mech. And at this point, Rolo reveals that, like, he cannot stop physical objects oh, from yeah. moving. Because he can only stop the perception of time, not necessarily time itself. Time itself. So he will he will get murdered by yep. this thing. Yep. At this point, Lelouch turns around and uses his mech as a shield. He takes one for the team. And that's how he gets Rolo's trust. So that's... This is so evil. Because... Rolo is like on the murder path, yeah. But he's so conflicted, yeah. Because he's like, 
he told me he was going to show me where C2 was, but now all this shit's happening. It's a fucking lie. What yeah. an asshole. Yeah. And then they go and do this, and he takes off. Like, he basically puts himself in the line of fire, doesn't die. He yeah. just loses a robot arm. Um, But he's like... I told you I would keep my promise. Yeah, and C2 right. shows up to help. There's C2, but she's leaving. Yeah. And, I'm, and I, you're truly my brother. Yeah. And I love you. Yeah. And whatever, and blah, 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 yeah. blah. Right? And Lelouch is going to get fucking speared from un, upon high. <laughs> yeah. And Rolo catches that shit. Yeah. And he's committing treason yeah. against Britannia. So Rolo is effectively joining the Black Knights purely out of loyalty to... Because he thinks that yeah. Lelouch is his brother. And I and I love how the show immediately makes it clear that Lelouch is like, fuck this. Yeah, fuck you, fuck him, fuck Rolo. Fuck this nunnally replacement wannabe. Yeah, you, you, are, you really think I love you? Yeah. Because you were going to replace my sister? Yeah. I'm going to fucking use you and throw you out like a dirty rag. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> you absolute <laughs> monster. Jesus Christ. And then he starts laughing. Yeah. yeah. Like, you fucking loser. <laughs> it's like, oh. So, you've, you've got, like, season one Lelouch yeah. is evil, yeah. but it's always for the good of the Nihon. Yeah. Right? Whereas season two Lelouch just seems fucking crazy. They took away a year of his life. Yeah, but he's like eight years old. Like... <laughs> Whatever. He's still got like a hundred years to live. Yeah. I so that's that's the thing I like about the Rolo character. Like Lelouch, like he just hates him. Yeah. Like it's not like there's no secret motive behind it. It's just no it's very clear cut. He's like, I hate this kid. But he also knows that Rolo poses the biggest threat. Because he can stop your perception of time. Yeah, so he needs him on his side. But I mean at this point you know some bad shit's gonna go down. At yeah. some point. At some point. We don't know when, but yeah, at some point, Roll's going to get it. So this brings up a couple things. Yeah. One is, how come everyone else's Gios can be used multiple times, mm -hmm. but Lelouch's can't? So I think they do hint that Lelouch hasn't fully... Okay. Right? Because I think even C2 says, like, right now this contact will stop your Gios, but mm -hmm. if you grow too strong... It'll go through the contact. Yeah. Like, his isn't fully manifested. Mm -hmm. Next one um, is that I don't... I, I'm kind of not excited about the addition of the Rolo character now. No one likes Rolo. Because, because it seems like that character is strictly going to be a punching bag to show you how crazy Lelouch has become. Mm. That is his only purpose mm. and adds... Nothing else except for, hey, are you sure you like this main character? Right? Like, those thoughts. What if what if Rolo is used as a tool? No, that's what he's going to do. That's the yeah. thing, right? Like, he's using Rolo as a tool to get things done. Yeah. But it, it's not like uh, in the same vein as Colin, mm -hmm. where Colin is like, you're my right-hand bro. Like, you're, you're the Suzaku of my crew. Yeah. And I'm going to trust you with information. I'm going to trust you with my true identity. Mm. Um, I'm going to let you lead an army, right? Where there, she, she's a part of the revolution. Where Rolo is strictly a tool. And in terms of story, he is only, like, seemingly right now, episode four only. He is only there to just help with Lucia's descent into madness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair. And I, I kind of don't like the way that that Lelouch's character is taking a turn. Uh oh. Yeah, I I like I like season one Lelouch. Yeah. Because even though he's doing moral morally questionable shit, it's still with a greater purpose in mind. Where it, it's like it's like for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Um. Whereas season two Lelouch now is like, fuck the greater good. I just want to be a ruler. Mm -hmm. Like I want to be what my dad is. Yeah. But for Japan. And I just want to crush my dad's empire. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm, I'm trying to remember the show, but like... I don't know. 
right? Mm-hmm. Like the whole the whole blood stained princess thing from season one. Mm. Like that was some evil shit, but he didn't do it on purpose, mm. right? It was just a happenstance of his power evolving, mm. and then he just went with the flow. Yeah, which totally makes sense for that character. Yeah. But nowhere in season one, Lelouch, did I ever get <laughs> dictator tyrant. Yeah, I think I, I think yeah, absolutely. But yeah, this Lelouch is definitely different, right? And you got to amp it up somehow. Yeah, I mean, like, I totally get it. I think, I, I think from season one, like, it, it, they never failed to mention, it, but his main driving factor was his sister. Yeah. And once you remove his sister, it's like you broke, you broke the man. Sh- yeah, you broke yeah. the chains that were holding him back. Yeah. So I think that's that's the thing to, to remember here. Um, so who knows what happens if and when he finds Nunnally again? Mm-hmm. Right? He could revert. He could be even worse. You never know. Maybe Nunnally has a Gios. The wheelchair is the Gios. That'd be fucked. What if her Gios was instant paralysis? <laughs> but it works on her all the time. Yeah. It's just her. <laughs> no, the, the power is so great that she turned it on herself. Oh, no. She's like, I don't want to be a part of this evil anymore. So I looked into a mirror. Like, Oh, and she's like, I lost all my bodily functions. Yeah. Because I, I didn't want to be used by my father. That'd be a hell of a twist. It's an M. Night Shyamalan twist right there. But yeah, that's it. That's episode four. Uh, next two episodes, five and six. We'll see what happens then. Yeah. I don't really know where it's going from here, but. I, ass- I assume they got to expand their territory eventually. I don't think they can just stay in the consulate forever. Yeah, they do have to make an alliance with somebody, but I can't remember who. Thailand. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Thanks for listening.